Well, in the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapters 5, 6, and 7, we have the words of Christ in what we know as the Sermon on the Mount. This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord of Life's devotional. I invite you to sit with me for a few minutes here this afternoon as we share our heart and our mind, hopefully be a blessing and a help to somebody. But I was thinking about the Sermon on the Mount. You know, if all of the Bible that we had was chapters 5, 6, and 7 of Matthew's Gospel, it would be a whole different world if everyone adhered to this teaching. If we uh, could, could somehow get the Sermon on the Mount and have it to reach every ear and penetrate every heart and mind, and everybody would say, hey, all of this makes good sense, I think we ought to abide by the words of Christ that he gives us here in these chapters. But sadly so, people today aren't familiar with the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, I remember as a child, of course, growing up in Sunday school, we had to kind of memorize the Beatitudes and, and the Lord's Prayer. There's important portions of Scripture that are important to us as Christians today to uh, perhaps hide in our hearts and to abide by them. But I think about with all the turmoil and all the strife that is going on in the world today, and I say today that if you haven't been really a little bit upset over the events of the past week or so, uh, I don't know what to say about you because I've been quite upset. I don't like to see the strife and the turmoil. I like to think we live in a civilized society and when people act uncivilized, it always brings chaos and it always causes all kinds of trouble and problems and, and that's what we're seeing today. It's all kinds of chaos. We see that people's lives are being changed forever by the actions of a few people. And I say today that we need to recognize that Christ had something better in mind when he put man on the face of this earth. God did not want us to live lives uh, that, as such as many are living today. And so he gives us the Bible. Of course, in the Old Testament, he gave the Ten Commandments. And if everybody obeyed the Ten Commandments, that would surely make a big difference in the world. And if everybody would just go over and follow the words of Christ and see what he has to say about forgiving our enemies and see what he has to say about praying for those that uh, despite, uh, spitefully use us and persecute us. Uh, I was reading some from the Sermon on the Mount today and it just kind of in, was impressed upon my mind what a different world we could have if somehow people would hear the Sermon on the Mount, if people would adhere to the words of Christ, uh, abide by those words, obey those words, my, we'd just almost have heaven on earth, wouldn't we? Will you read the Sermon on the Mount in the next day or two? It won't take too long to read Matthew, Matthew's Gospel 5, 6, and 7, and I encourage you to do so. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word that shows us how to live a good life on this earth. And we know that the Sermon on the Mount, if we take it in and live by it, make it such a better life, you said that you, that you came that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. We believe an abundant life could be found by following the teaching, the precepts that you outlined there on the hillside that day. Bless us, keep us on down throughout life. Ask in Christ's name, amen. Well, thanks for letting me share that. I plan to see you tomorrow here on the Lord Lights Devotional with Pastor Hayton. Hope to see some of you in prayer meeting tonight. Goodbye now.